I've always liked using make files, but recently I've just completely switched to just files because they are just amazing. And to convince you of this, I'm just gonna give you the most basic demo. I'm in a folder right now, and in that folder we have this one just file. That will be this file over here. Similar to make files, you can just type just and then a command that's defined in that just file with the hope that this would save you a lot of typing and remembering. Now, from the top of my mind, there is a serve command in there and that serve command is just gonna start a Python server. Nothing too fancy, but one thing I've always found incredibly annoying with make is that you might be able to define a command like serve, but you're never really able to then also pass in extra arguments. And having this port number over here be something that's configurable just sounds like a very normal idea but make files don't allow for that. Just files, on the other hand, they do. So let's run that command again, just serve, but now port one, two, three, four, five. And notice that I'm actually able to pass this argument along and that I'm able to configure the port number because of it. This is what the just file looks like, by the way. So very similar to make, you have the name of a command and then a tab, and then you can put all sorts of bash commands or what have you here. But a fun little extra detail is that you can use these curly brackets to indicate that something is supposed to go in. You can define a argument. You can also pass a default argument and lo and behold, this 8,000 goes there or whatever other argument you want to pass it. So if you type serve one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five is going to go in. And this just makes a whole lot of stuff a whole lot more flexible, but it really doesn't stop there. What I'm now going to go ahead and do is I'm going to exit the folder. So I'm no longer in the folder that had that just file. What I can now do is I can type just dash G and now I'm going to grab not some local just file. Now I'm going to grab a global just file. And if I were now to type serve one, two, three, four, five, it still works. Now this is obviously a huge feature. You can define a global just file full of commands that you like to use in one place and then use it from wherever you are. And this is also a great thing to add to your dot files. Now, instead of calling just G everywhere, what I figured might be fun is to just add this alias. So this is my uh, Z shell RC file, by the way. And you can see here that I've set this alias for command KMD. And every time that I would type KMD, I'm effectively going to be typing just dash G. And what's kind of nice here is that there's a distinction between global commands that I really like to use, as well as some maybe local commands in a local just file. So in my mind, KMD, that's global stuff and just will be just for local stuff. So with this idea of a global just file, we can also write a slightly different just file. And that brings me to this command over here. There is a command called write. And this is what I like to type whenever I feel like writing something on my blog. I just want that to be very quick. There's a UV command over here that's gonna start a local server that allows me to write a blog post real quick. However, this is one extra thing on top over here, and that is that I'm able to specify a working directory. I'm also able to specify a group. I'll explain that in just a bit, but the whole point with this working directory over here is that I can say, hey, this one command should run from this directory, and then we should go back once we're done. And this is where my blog is. So what this command is gonna do is gonna start up a local web server. It's gonna add a file to the right folder, and it's gonna do that in my blog, and I can run this from wherever. So just to demonstrate that this does indeed work, I'm just gonna CD to my home directory, I'm gonna write command write. This is gonna boot up a bunch of stuff. And there we go, here's my little app that allows me to uh, write a blog post. In most ways, this is really nothing fancy, but I just like being able to run this one command from wherever. And similarly, I also have a deploy command, I just wanna be able to run that from wherever. And being able to configure that real quick in a single just like file and still being able to pass in arguments, oh my, that is just so much better than make. Another cool thing, by the way, if I were just to type command without anything else, then it's just gonna show me all the recipes that are available to me. So there's a default one, I've added one for zip files, for freeing up ports, figuring out what my IP is, but, and this is where that group comes in, you're also able to group commands together. So you're able to say stuff like, hey, here's all sorts of stuff for my blog. And I suppose a final thing that's really good to mention, this tree command that I've got over here, this tree command is actually going to run a Python file that's in the directory where my just file is. So this is my just file. There's a little Python script over here that's using rich to do some very pretty printing. Note, by the way, that it has its dependencies inlined. But besides having the ability to add quote unquote decorators, you also have just a couple of neat little helpers. So you're able to pass in variables here that are passed along from the command line. But, but there's also some functions that you can just go ahead and run. Things like, hey, what is the directory of the just file in question? And just for a good measure, 
Uh, let's go to my development folder into this project called Scikit Lego. That's a project that I help maintain. If I run out to type command tree, then you are going to see a tree of all the different files and folders. And you can see some of these files are Python files. And it's just a cute little utility that you can write in Python. And if it's right next to your just file, you can also just easily point to it, still add it to your dot files. And you can also have your little collection of Python snippets that you just really like to run. So in short, just is really just amazing. You can really learn it in an afternoon. And to me, it just makes it so much easier to add all of your utilities and to also make it fun to iterate on it. And if nothing else, that's been the main productivity boost. So, so give this just file thing a spin. It's great.